This is fun today. We're with Diane Payton, who is the president of the Westfield Washington Historical Society, along with Mayor Cook. Mayor Cook, we are at the Nicholas Barker Cabin. What do you know? about your history here? Oh, a lot less than Diane knows, but we're going to find out here in a minute. So, Diane, the, the Nicholas Barker cabin, what's the history behind it? The Nicholas Barker cabin, Nicholas and Fanny Barker came to Indiana in 1833, and they settled in Paoli, Indiana for a very short time while Mrs. Barker had about her seventh baby. Nicholas came on to Westfield, and in 1834, he started the log cabin. That was about the time that the city was plotted. One Sunday evening, the fire department called me one Sunday night and said, Diane, we had a run out there, and they're getting ready to bulldoze the cabin down tomorrow. So Monday morning at 6 o'clock, Jim and I, were out there standing in front of the wrecking ball. And I have to say, Langston Development was absolutely a gem to work with. They gave us two, um, two weeks to get the cabin totally down and totally off their property. It took us two weeks and one day. They just made it and there are a lot of volunteers. The city volunteers came in and helped undo this cabin to break it down. And the irony of all this is, uh, you know, we talked earlier about the, the explosive growth in Westfield. Well, because of that growth, and this barn was going to be taken down for new homes, that's because of the growth is how we found this cabin once again. You know, you said, Mayor, you, you, you said this works in, fits very nicely into, into this area, into Westfield. How so? Well, this area is really what we want to keep as kind of historic Westfield. I mean, behind us is the, uh, the, the town hall that we still have our uh, city council meetings in. But that building, I believe, was built in 1855 as a congregational church. Yes, yes. Uh, so, it has some of the uh, some of the original pews and so on inside of it, and uh, just this area is one we want to protect uh, from any further development or reconstruction, just to maintain an historical uh, segment of our emerging downtown. So this just fits right in. And so, Diane, how did you get people to to get behind this project to to support it and and more importantly to raise money? We just asked. Um, the city was very generous, the school was very generous, but you know, Chris, and it, it's mostly the community. You know, the community, the people were so behind it. I mean, they didn't get the majority of the money, but they really, you know, if they could afford $5, they gave $5. If they could afford 100 they gave 100 We have had hundreds of people donate to the cabin. It's been a community affair. And with that in mind, the cabin is going to be a, a community asset as it's going to be a welcoming center and an educational center. We've got 1,200 school children scheduled to come through the log cabin each year to let them know what pioneers did, what they what their homes looked like, what it smelled like. I, when you walk in, you smell kind of the the smoky smell, you know, what they, how they lived. 11 people lived in this log cabin. This became sort of, you know, we've heard that, you know, how you get passionate about projects, but this really became a passionate project for you, correct? My yes. heart and soul, yeah, yes. Very much, I can tell you. <laughs> My heart and soul is in this cabin. It so fits in with the development of our entire downtown. You know, we, we talk about it being a rather eclectic mix of the old and the new. And we're gonna have some new right across the street with the, the big Moffat uh, Old Town project. And then we have the very effective old structure right here. We'll continue to build on that theme. It will be Westfield's uniqueness. So we're going to have people who say, well, how do I go there? How do I get to see it? How can I walk through? Oh, please. We'd love to have you. You can either make an appointment 
Or we are open currently on Saturdays from 10 to 2. We welcome everyone in, the community in. We're actually having a wedding here in September. We've uh, already scheduled that. Um, June the 3rd, we're having the grand opening with the mayor helping us cut the ribbon. We will have... Um, uh, Lots of different events on that yes. at that, that time. Pony and rides actors. and actors, mm -hmm. music, food, food trucks. Maybe chicken and noodles. <laughs> Maybe. There must be a story behind that. <laughs> yes, that's for another day. Okay, all right. <laughs> we thank both of you and we thank Mr. Barker as well and the thank Barker you. family.